What happens when someone tries the new Volcano Taco? No one can resist the mild spiciness of its lava dressing. The new Volcano Taco from Taco Bell. Crunchy red tortilla, seasoned beef, shredded cheddar cheese, lettuce, and a delicious spicy lava dressing. Try something a little spicier, because man does not live by bread alone. Well, hey everybody. So guess what here? We're back at Taco Bell. Well, you know what? Calling back to the 90s. And look what Jussie Wop did back on Taco Bell's menu. The only downside is these things are here for a limited time. So, all right. It's got the Volcano Taco. And then, you know what? Let's show you what's inside the Volcano Burrito. So, I've got the... Looks like uh, here you got the... You know, got the beef, the cheese, some, uh, the iconic lava sauce, Fiesta Red Strips, I think some, uh, lettuce, something like that, and there's normally sour cream, but I, I'm foregoing the sour cream because I want the maximum spice, and of course, you know, also got a little lava sauce inside and something to try it on, all right, uh -huh. Hey everybody, it's your boy Robbie P2 here. So as always, Robbie P2 family, please. Let's check in down below with the hashtag. And uh, welcome back to another awesome episode of hashtag Taco Tuesday. Now, before I go any further, you also, uh, of course, uh, the day you're seeing this, uh, if you're seeing this live Tuesday, it's also Independence Day in the United States. So here's where, yeah, I figured that's my channel, is where the fireworks are going to be. Because uh, speaking of fireworks let's go back let's go back to the 90s and uh, see some awesome taco bell the goodness here all right so as you probably saw in the little intro hey look what two things erupted back on the taco bell menu we got the the volcano menu well these are the Two things that came back, uh, that they brought back. So we got the the volcano taco with uh, which has the lead, the beef, the lettuce, cheese, the lava sauce, and the fiery uh, volcano shell. And then we also have the burrito, which I showed a little bit. It's got the beef, the lettuce, the cheese, the seasoned rice. Yeah, I forgot to mention that earlier. To the red strips. The lava sauce as well. And also we've got a little uh, side of... We're going to try this on my own. So, nope, that's the wrong one. So, I figured I want to try the lava sauce itself. Since they had a nacho fries. We just got nacho. We've got the regular side of nachos. We're going to try the lava sauce itself. So let's give it a little try. And then it's got a cheesy little jalapeno, like red, like a little jalapeno kind of smell to it. All that right here. Got an orange color. Mm. Oh, wow. This is bursting with flavor, though. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, that definitely delivers. So, now I don't recall if I tried it back in the 90s or something like that, but you know what? Now, let's uh, 
if I read the sauce itself, that sauce is a perfect 10 out of 10. So Taco Bell. Even though I find it like a dollar for an individual cup to be kind of expensive. Please make it available, you know, in some bigger containers. You, can, you know, go to the stores, buy, and buy some bottles or something like that. Because that's a good sauce. That needs to stay for quite a while. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and uh, dig into the taco. Well, before I do that, before we do that here, uh, first off, uh, yep, this is Independence Day, so big shout out to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, you know, who are fighting to keep our nation independent, keep our independence of our nation. Greatly appreciate it. Big shout out to y'all here. And this is also in collaboration with the two guys over at the YouTube channel, Messed Up Podcast. So, so we're getting along with them, you know, maybe doing some work with them, all that, and help the channel grow. So they're going to participate in this. So I'm going to link, so once their video's up, we're going to have a link in the description. You can tell them Robbie P2 sent you. All right. Now, on with the, well, Taco Tuesday. Look at this. Typical Taco Bell taco already breaking up. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh man. <laughs> it's pretty good. Definitely got a little bit of lava sauce on it. I think it could use a little more though. <laughs> hmm. Nine out of ten, but you know what? You know what? No, no, no. We don't have to take this because we got some little extra lava sauce here. So here we go. So there we go. Yeah. Just needs a little, I think from Taco Bell itself, needs a little extra top mava sauce. It's a perfect 10 out of 10. As it is, but you know. So I'm telling you, if you're trying this right now, you don't even need, you probably won't even need any of their uh, condiments or something like that, so. For the record now, yeah, I usually get Diablo, but they didn't have Diablo back in the 90s. So, hottest they had was, of course, the fire, which we're feeling right now. Man. The eruption of spicy goodness. I figured, and Taco Bell could not have picked a better time, you know, to bring it back, you know, with the fireworks and everything. So, like I said, where the real fire, where the fireworks at right now? Right there. All right. Now, we'll get the volcano burrito, which is supposed to be a double beef burrito. Should have had it grilled as well. But let's take a bite. Mm. Oh, that's good. Definitely delivered on the lava sauce here. And, uh, 
back then, I got mine without sour cream, which uh, you can do. Uh, just order the cow, just ask. You can also order this app here. This definitely helps, uh, you know, increase the heat and increase the spices. So, right now, that's what it looks like on the inside. And tell me that right there. We gotta dig into this. Mm. So you definitely get the sauce. The nice thing about it is also not overbearing, so you get a little taste of uh, everything else as well. The only thing that does not have flavor is the the Fiesta strips. So those things never have flavor for some reason. But uh you know that's not gonna not gonna bring this uh down here because the volcano taco is also a perfect ten out of ten. You heard it from me here. <laughs> And, uh, of course, I got the combo, which just comes with the, the burrito and the taco and the drink. It's like seven eighty nine, or like $8, something like that, of course. Of course, you know, we're having a blast, you and got it. And, you know, what? Can't, no, ta- no trip to Taco Bell's complete without Baja, without Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Perfect. So, <laughs> and of course, that could be a little messy. Speaking of messy again, this collaboration with Messed Up Podcast. Thank you guys for wanting to do you know doing this with me. Greatly appreciate that. Can't wait to see you guys take on the, you know, volcano combo. Mm. Mm. But here's the thing: we're not going to stop here, folks, because I know some of y'all here want to see if we can turn up the heat even more and make. A Troll Slayer version of this here. So now, if you guys want to see a Troll Slayer version on this, like next on this next week, here's what you gotta do. What I want to see in the comments, in addition to hashtag P 2 family I want everybody to spam hashtag Troll Slayer in the comments. Whether you're seeing this live. Or whether you're seeing like replaying this or seeing this at a later time, just you know, put hashtag troll slayer in your comments. And if we see it spammed, we're gonna make a troll slayer version of this. Now we just hope Taco Bell still has this on the menu so we can do it. And of course we'll show you how we make how we make the troll slayer uh very end. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, it tastes really good. So, Taco Bell, don't you dare get rid of this. You know, we need, you need something permanent back on your menu. You need a classic. We need something that reminds us of the heat. We need something that reminds us of your 90s interior. With like all the colorful seats and all the, the you know, the vinyl padding and, you know, stuff like that here. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
See? <laughs> and, you know, we won't be able to put lava sauce on other things. Because you used to have lava, not like, like the lava, like the volcano nachos. Mm-hmm. Back then. That needs to come back. I also have the volcano um, box meal. That needs to come back. Mm-hmm. All right. So, everything you saw here gets 10 out of 10, even the sauce itself. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, and again, guys, go check out Messed Up Podcast. I'll put a link to the channel in the description. <laughs> but now, before we do any of that, and closing out normal, if you're new to my channel, please hit the big subscribe button down below, and then ring that notification bell, and then choose all the notifications so you don't miss out on any of the awesome content here. <clears throat> and then, you know, leave a positive comment. Let me know what you think. Plus also the hashtag Robbie P. Joe family and the hashtag Troll Slayer. If you want to see the Troll Slayer uh, volcano uh, combo, something like that here, see a Troll Slayer treatment. And all that, because we know these trolls can't handle it. All right. <laughs> but other than that, if you have a request for anything else, any other food you want to see me review on my channel, or if you want to do like another, um, do like a food or beverage collaboration with me, just like Messed Up Podcast, all you have to do, reach out to me, email, Instagram, or Twitter, are the best ways to do it. All that's going to be in the description down in the description right below the video. Just click to expand it. And then last but not least, there'll also, now last but not least, there'll also be a link to the Robbie, the official Robbie P2 fan shop. So you can order yourself some uh, Robbie P2 merch like hats, t-shirts, all kinds of goodies here. And then there's also a link to, uh, Request a personal shout out for me on Cameo as well here for, you know, for like a Independence Day or something like that. And then also, last again, last but not least, since it is Independence Day, again, a big thank you to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, you know, for fighting for our country and keeping it, as ind- keeping it independent and, you know, fighting for for our freedom. So, I hope everybody has a happy and safe Independence Day as well. Maybe, you know, go and watch some actual fireworks outside. And, you know, just remember this is, uh, you know, celebrating the day when our uh, country and when our nation became uh, independent. All right. So, that's about it. So, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And most importantly, stay positive. The boy, Robbie P2, out.